Hello, my name is Joshua Zorn, and today we are going to show you how to use the My Church app. In this tutorial, we are going to show you how to install the app and the various features within the app. In order to install this app, you're going to need either an Apple or an Android device. Apple devices include iPhones and iPads, whereas there are many different kinds of Android devices, such as the Samsung Galaxy S4, which we'll be using in this tutorial today. The first thing you're going to do is navigate to the Play Store and select it. Click on the magnifying glass and type in My Church. It should be the first result, called My Church by Alexio. Click the free, which means that you're going to install the app. Click install, and then click accept to accept the terms and conditions. It's now downloading and installing the app. Once it is successfully installed, you can find it among your other apps. The first time that you open the app, it is going to prompt you for a web address. Our web address is www.alliancemechwan.org. When you enter the web address, the app is customized for Alliance Bible Church. Click Go, and there you are. Congratulations, you have successfully installed and set up the app. From here, on the top left corner, there are three bars. If you select it, you can see Events, Giving, Contact Our Church, Times and Direction, Check-in, Church Directory, and Login. These are the basic functions of the app. Some of the functions require that you have an account. If you have not already set up an account, here's a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do so. At this point, you're ready to use the app. Now we're going to cover the specific features of the app. First, we have events. Now if this is your first time accessing the app, it is going to prompt you for your login information. But after you enter it, this is the screen that you will see. Now events show you what's happening at Alliance in either a list format or a month format. If you want more information about an event that you're interested in, just select the event. If you select the Giving option in the main menu, you will be presented with a Donate Now button, which allows you to quickly and easily donate money. Next, we have the Media Center. This is where you can access sermons from weeks past in either audio or video format. The Time and Directions tab is where you can see the service times and directions to our church, if you're a first-time user. The Times and Directions tab is especially useful when there are changes in the service times. Next, we are going to check in. If there's an event that you're going to be a part of, you can use the check-in option to make sure that you're signed up. This helps the coordinators to prepare enough food and have enough seating. Lastly, we have the church directory. This incredibly useful option allows you to search for someone. The directory will give you their address, phone number, email, and the options to call or text with the press of a button. That's it. I hope you understand all of the functions that we've covered. If you have any questions or comments, you can email Taylor Zorn at tzorn at alliancemechwan.org or Heidi Dank at hdank at alliancemechwan.org. We hope you found this tutorial helpful and thanks for watching.